the documentary The Last Dance, right? That came out this uh this past weekend, this past Sunday. Thank you, ESPN. Oh yeah, blessings, blessings. Salute to you guys. ESPN always. for dropping this earlier. Um uh, the first two parts dropped and then parts three and four drop this upcoming Sunday. Yeah, don't call, don't text. I'll be uh locked in. Be busy, yes. Yeah, I'm busy. Absolutely. Block those those hours off for sure. <laughs> I enjoyed every single piece of it. Every single. And it's insight and stuff that I never knew. I mean, I kind of knew about the trade request from Scotty back in the day, but I had no idea to that, extent. that yeah, that he was that upset and that displeased with management. And I had no idea that he was like basically getting paid in McDonald's coupons. So it was a different time. It was a different time. Players didn't have um as much say. Mm-hmm. In negotiations, your voice wasn't really respected or or heard when you wanted to say like, "Nah, I want to re- renegotiate my contract," or "Nah, like mm-hmm. I think I'm worth more." Like, excuse me, no, I have the funds, and this is what I will pay you. Again, which goes back to like Charles Barkley and different players, like really mm-hmm. paving the way for guys to get mega deals. Like that's what yeah. it was. So Scotty, I mean, we, we're looking at it from our perspective, like, "Yo, Scotty took a shitty deal," but like, nah. It's exactly what you said. Scotty yeah. took the deal. I don't even blame Scotty for it. Um, I mean, it seems like a, a a bad deal in hindsight, but you know, things and things that we learned about Scotty's family, his dad um was special needs, his brother was special needs. Yeah, tough, rough. And he had it growing up tough and rough in, in Arkansas. Yeah. So he felt like he needed that money, he needed that financial security just in case he got injured, needed that guaranteed cash, and he got it. But at a certain point in time, like you said, like he knew his value. He was an all-star. He was a champion, one of the 50 greatest players of all time. And he was like, run me my coin. We know what it is. Sports is a business. So, like, to them, it it, it was like, nah, we're not going to renew you right now and get stuck with you because you're getting older. Like, it's just we've, we've seen this throughout the decades. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just how the game goes. Younger people, like 25 and under. They, you know, run social media. Millennials run social media. Young millennials. Actually, yeah. not even millennials because we're millennials. Like Generation Z. Yeah, no they run really. social media, right? And all along social media is debates about LeBron's the greatest. Kobe's the greatest. Some even are talking about Kawhi's the greatest. And um, MJ's the greatest. And, and this and the- that. Yeah. And I think... Chatter. Yeah, I know. It's chatter. And it goes on. And chatter is what, what breeds social media. We can talk like millions of days about that. But... This documentary really exposes and highlights MJ's greatness. Like for 14 minutes, you have 14 minutes to play. This Yo, that entire was, game. That was, that was crazy. That was and crazy. I'm gonna go into this game in 14 minutes and do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting a buck. I'm getting any bucket I want. I'm stopping anybody I want. Uh, my team is. I'm gonna get my team. I'm gonna play for 14 minutes and be the reason that my team wins. Yeah. Impact. And there's no other player that you could look at that's ever you know, had a basketball, dribble, took a shot, got a rebound, whatever, that you could look at right now and be like, I need I need that from you and and them get it. Maybe Kobe. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, no, 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 maybe Kobe. Yeah, 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 and that's yeah, why yeah. he's the closest. Yeah, yeah. Much respect to MJ, man. It's, it's the, the way the league is today, like we, we've never seen anything like it. We've never seen anybody like Mike. Well, he's the reason that players get the money they make. He's the players. He's the reason that players get the endorsements, endorsements they, that they get. get. The bag. Can I just uh, tell you one of my favorite parts of the documentary was that video of Charles Oakley just bitching up Scottie Pippen, like slapping him across the oh, face, yeah, yeah, pulling yeah, him by like yeah, his shirt. Yeah, yeah. Young collar, rookie, young rookie, young rookie. Um, just like fucking with him and and like the pre Afro Scotty before at, before Scotty realized like for his face to be tolerable to people's vision, he needs hair on his head. That's also a great, great insight as well. Scotty is not a looker. Not, not without, not without the fro. No, Scotty. Not without the fro. fro. Scotty hasn't aged really well. I, Scotty's aged okay. He looks weird. We want to talk about how how they've aged. MJ's mom, aging like wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, MJ mom's still alive. Aging still like looking. wine. Yeah. MJ's in his. How old is MJ? MJ got to be like fifty. At least 50 six. Plus. MJ got to be at least sixty. Like, MJ's mom is Asian better than MJ. Without a doubt. Yeah. MJ got yellow eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? MJ's 57. MJ has yellow eyes. Great teeth. Great skin. Great skin at that age? Yeah. You know, know, that is. That that, 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 that down south. Yeah. 
that's that that's a that's like that's amazing to see. And then MJ is in his bad jeans and his t shirt. Yeah, he was swaggy at one point. When? When that shit was in style. When it was in style for your suit to be yeah, like he was killing. a forty waist when you were thirty four. Why were they doing that? I don't know. Why was I doing that? MJ <laughs> sicko mode. Yeah, when you told me yesterday you have mad suits in your closet, I was like, I wonder how many of Trev's suits is the MJ version. No, not 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 these suits. These are my adult these suits. These are your good boys? Yeah, my adult suits fit. Cause I remember like it was I had like a good amount of suits. And then I went in one day. I was like, oh, no, no. This is not it. This got to go. This three buttons go. <laughs> 42 got to go. Like, I'm a 40. Everything in my closet is is a it's like a 42 slim. Okay. And I and I got and I, get, and I get that off. Absolutely. But yeah, um, it fits in the arms. It fits good. Like, gives you that. Gives, makes you feel strong. <laughs> makes you feel strong. Look strong. Indeed. That's what it's about. Very excited for the next one. Uh, MJ just, I mean... There's, there's there's no comparison. No. And if we thought... And that's the thing. Like, we have such recency bias because we see LeBron every day. Um, and then, of course, like, we highlight Kobe not just because of his death, but because of, you know, the great player that he was and the headlines that he made. And we forget MJ literally every night went out there and determined which games he was going to win and how he was going to win them. He used to go in other teams' locker rooms like, you... <laughs> And nobody I'm on your him. head today, boy. Exactly. All right, see you guys out there. <laughs> Peace and love. And just dip out and go give them buckets. And what they should have done was drop one every night instead of two per week. I need one every night. Something else on TV. And the only the only way ESPN will have anything to air is if they spread no, it out. No, they're doing it the right way. Because they get five days for Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman to talk about... <laughs> what are they talking about? Two what? episodes. They ain't talking about shit. Like they're they're doing like duck racing or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's the nothing outdoors. on ESPN to watch. I haven't turned on ESPN at all. Absolutely nothing. Especially with Carrie Champion not being on ESPN anymore. There's nothing to watch. Nothing. Carrie Champion could have several of my children. Yeah.